Welcome this Thursday morning. It's good to have you as we just stop and take a break and refresh ourselves for the Word of God. Encouragement for eagles. I don't know of anything that encourages a person as much as a gift. An unexpected gift, an un gift, an undeserved gift. And so today I want to look for a few moments in Psalm 40, if you will. We'll begin there. God has some gifts there that he wants to give us and that he's willing to give us at any time. And these gifts encourage us greatly. The very first one I want to pay attention to today and want us to look at is verse 1. Verse 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. I waited patiently for the Lord. Now that word patiently in the Hebrew, it means intently. I waited patiently. Totally focused on God, seeking him with all of my heart. That's what God said in Isaiah 55, 6. He said, when you seek me with all of your heart, what? You will find me. God said, I'm not going to hide myself from you. But you're going to have to look. You're going to have to ask me, and I will show myself to you. When you seek me with all of your heart, you will find me. And so God heeds us. He heeds us when we seek him with all of our heart. And what is the result of that? Look in the last part of this verse. And he inclined to me and heard my cry. Now that word inclined means he leans forward. He leans towards me. He has all of his attention focused on me when I'm seeking intently after him. He inclines himself to me. And he gives us all of his attention. He stops building universes and hanging stars on nothing. And all of his focus is on us when we focus on him. And so the first gift that God has that will encourage us today is the gift of knowing that God heeds us when we listen intently to him. He inclines himself. He gives himself to us. Another gift that we find here in Psalm 40, we find it in verse 2. Listen to what the word says. After patiently waiting... God inclines himself, and listen to what happens in verse 2. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. He gives us the gift of stabilizing us. Stabilizing us. We don't stand on sinking sand, but when we turn to God, we find ourselves standing on the rock, the rock that will never tremble. Even though we have difficulties in life and even though we have worries in life, God gives us the gift of stabilizing us. And he makes our feet firm. We're able to walk in the high places, as the book of Habakkuk says. And it means very simply that our steps are firm and solid. We're not slipping. In our mind, we can slip with it and fall. We can go into doubt. But God's saying, I want to stabilize you and I give you this gift. All you have to do to seek me. And we're no longer tossed to and fro like the waves of the sea that James talks about. Many times in our lives, the one thing that we want is security. We want stabilization. God says, let me give that gift to you. Let me give you that gift. I want you to look at another gift that will encourage you today. And that is the gift of renewing found in verse 3. He put a new song in our mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will what? Trust in the Lord. All of a sudden, praise becomes our song. It becomes our song of life. We look around and we see God where we never saw him before and had forgotten that he was even there. And all of a sudden, we're filled with praise. That's a consequence of coming to God and receiving the gift that he's always willing to give us. And do you know what the result is? It tells us here in verse 3, it's not just a blessing to us. It's not just a gift that God gives us, but we're able to pass it on because the Bible says many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. What a gift. There's a fourth gift that God's giving us today if we're willing to take it, and that's a gift of trusting. Verse 4, how blessed is a man who has made the Lord his trust. Isaiah talks about the mind stayed on Jehovah is at perfect peace. The mind stayed on Yahweh, the God of salvation, the God of creation, the
the God of history, the God of right now, the God of yesterday, the God of tomorrow. The gift of trusting, God gives that to us. He increases our faith when our mind is fixed upon him, determined that we're not going to look to the left or look to the right, that we're going to keep our eyes focused on him. The gift of trusting. And then last of all, what should encourage us is the gift that God has of giving us sight. The gift of seeing. Verse 5. Many, O Lord, are the wonders which you have done. And your thoughts toward me, there is none to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. Do you realize we can't even number the thoughts that God has of us today, of you? Personally thinking about you, knowing exactly where you are, and being a sovereign God. And he's wanting to give you the gift of seeing. In other words, he wants us to open our eyes, open our eyes that we may see. And he lifts our eyes, just like someone lifting your chin and causing you to look up at them. He lifts our chin. He lifts our eyes from the earth to the eternal. And we see what we're able to see no other way. All of a sudden, our eyes are open to the unseen. Open by eyes of faith to that which is the unseen world, which is real, more real than the world that we see before us. Listen to what Hebrews says. Hebrews 11, verse 13. Verse 13 says, All these died in faith. Faith, that's leaning on God. That's trusting God. Laying down upon him. All of these, and we're talking about the great heroes of faith here that are numbered here in this chapter. And what a wonderful chapter, a way of encouraging us. All these died in faith without receiving the promises, but having welcomed them and having seen them from what? A distance and having confessed that they were strangers and exiles on earth. My, my. The Bible talks about Abraham looking for a city which has foundations, whose builder and architect is God. And so God gives us the gift of being able to see the unseen. And it's only when we take our eyes off of what's going on around us and what's going on inside of us and focus on him that we have the gifts that he wants to give us. I hope that you're encouraged today knowing that God is for you and God is all-powerful and God will not fail you. And so open the gifts that God has for you today. Take a moment and look at what he's wanting to give you and has given you if you know the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you this day and be encouraged in him.